everyone, Tony George, Friday Update, TGIF. We're back. Boys of Summer are back after the All-Star break, and we got a doubleheader for you over at Docs. Don't forget to take advantage of the free $60 link in the description below. Get yourself hooked up. Get yourself hooked up with a week or a 30-day package. Uh, we're going to open up the second half of the 2-0 sweep today, uh, a seven-unit card over at Docs, and give you a free Major League Baseball play. Uh, NBA will be back up on Saturday. Um, quick note about the last game, um, over 3,000 of you tuned in for the free pick on Phoenix and they couldn't have blown it any worse than they did. And I was wrong on the total too. I had the over in that game. Very uncharacteristic game by Phoenix, especially from Chris Paul. Obviously you don't want to give a team with the, the Greek freak and Middleton and uh, plenty of talented players, a lot of momentum at home. And uh, that's what Phoenix did. So it's going to be game five tomorrow. Uh, current line is the Suns minus four and total 218. So we'll see if we can do a little better on both accounts for you. In the NBA on Saturday, NASCAR on Sunday. Uh, no golf picks as we um, put out everything on Wednesday for top 10s, top 20. It looks like four of the five I picked are going to make the cut. And Louis Ustazen was one of the top picks on my card at a top 20 at plus 125. He's looking pretty good. Currently in second, Colin Marcowell fired at 64 today, uh, minus nine. Current leader as I tape this, uh, Jordan Spieth making a nice run. It's going to be a very interesting, a lot of guys near the leaderboard and anything can happen there, especially if the weather turns. So that's going to be a good watch this weekend. So, um, and I did not put any picks out in the Barbersaw Challenge down in Kentucky just because there's a lot of no names in that. Anything can happen and just not a lot of uh, good angles to, to wager that one at. So, we'll see how it pans out here in the PGA Force after the dust settles on Saturday. And a quick note to all of you that have been loyal followers, over 16,000 of you here. Um, Sean Salisbury, um, who did not do the show last week because of some family stuff. Uh, Sean lost his mother last night. So those of you that would like to pay your respects, um, you can catch Sean, and he announced it on Twitter, um, at Sean Unfiltered. You can go over and leave him a note. Sean has been, uh, I've known Sean in one capacity or another since 1997, and he's been nothing but nice to me. Great guy, wears his heart on his sleeve. Tells it like it is. Um, when I was nobody and he was something, he gave me a leg up. Uh, we were both at ESPN. But anyway, long story short, um, and he's still somebody and I'm still nobody, by the way. But great guy, good family man, and a devastating loss. So if you'd like to pay your respects, obviously uh, our thoughts and prayers are with Sean and his family during this very difficult time. And Sean will be back in a week or two after the dust settles and uh, we'll get back to business as usual. But just wanted to let all you guys know as an FYI. Let's get to the free play today and the free play is in the Toronto and uh, Texas game. And uh, a lot of guys uh, like Toronto on the run line here. I'm a little concerned about that simply because of the starting pitchers. And we talk a lot about current form. If anybody's using season-long stats to handicap a Major League Baseball game, you're doing yourself a disservice. And I've had a lot of success over the years um, not doing that, but doing what I call current form. Last three, last five games. You know, even going maybe 10. You know, there's different angles that I use. You know, on-base percentage, slugging percentage, all these different things that I'll look last three, last five, last 10. I don't kind of average amount. You always want to go on current form. And right now, Robbie Ray and Jordan Lyles are in great form. Last three games for these two pitchers who are starting tonight. Lyles, 2.37 ERA. Um, he's 6-3 and three on unders on the road this year. And Robbie Ray is 11-6 and six on unders. And he's 2.25 ERA his last three. And in 20 innings, he's pitched in his last three. He struck out 27. And I know that Toronto has a lot of bats and they can get, you know, they can get going in a hurry. But I think it's going to be a really low scoring game. I think the pitchers are both capable of going six or seven innings here without question. Um, they're in good form. The total's nine and a half. It was 10. 
So some sharps are coming in on the under. I think it's still worth a, a, a free pick here. Under nine and a half. Blue Jays and Rangers tonight. That's your free pick. Back at you on Saturday.